Hello everyone, my name's Dean, let's talk crypto. This is where you subscribe for daily Bitcoin updates and technical analysis. We track the price of Bitcoin as a proxy for the cryptocurrency markets at large. Today is October 21st, 2021, and Bitcoin is looking like it's in a correction, okay? It's in a small correction. Is that is that going to be the larger correction of this uh, of this channel, of this Elliott Wave impulse, or is it just a sort of a intermediate correction before it continues up this channel? That's what we're going to discuss today. Um, also, I'm going to discuss why I still still anticipate a larger correction down to the uh, low 50,000s, uh, and that's actually where I'm waiting to buy my alts. So, uh, First and foremost, let's get started on the four hourly time frame. Uh, if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll know uh, that I like to now look at Elliott Wave impulses in channels, right? Why? Because you don't actually know when they're going to end. You know, you don't know when uh, your five waves are up. You can count them, but any of these waves can be extended. So I think the trick is to one, look at the EMA. I use the 21 EMA, that's a Fibonacci number. And as long as you're riding the 21 EMA, which is this yellow line here on this chart, you should be fine for a continued uptrend, right? And the 21 EMA is basically a great indicator showing a, a, a continued uptrend. And you can see that this impulse has been riding the 21 EMA, only losing it once to hit the 55 EMA, okay? And so that's basically what you're seeing here. Uh, also, what I want to bring to your attention is that in this channel, as soon as we're usually riding the middle of the channel, okay, and at the top of the channel, we'll get a uh, sort of a peak. And once we hit that peak, we're going to retrace down to the middle and to the bottom, okay? So here, we're riding the channel, middle, big upsurge, then back to the middle, and then down again. And then back to the top, we're close to the top and down again to the middle, okay? And now back to close to the top, I think we're going to get, and so this is one thing I'm going to look at. Uh, we're currently in a B wave, right? This is an A wave of a correction. This is going to be a B wave. We've been retracing to the one, two, three, six Fibonacci level, and we're going to see what that price is, but I anticipate that our price comes up to here and then retraces because we're pretty much at the top of the channel. We made the top of the channel here. We didn't quite make it over here, okay? And if we were to count this with Elliott waves, right now, a tentative count, it'd probably most likely be that this is the top of the third wave and this is the top of an extended fifth wave. This is a completely tentative count. You don't know, and I wouldn't go by that. I wouldn't uh, trade on that. I would just simply use uh, the momentum as shown by you know whether or not price action maintains integrity within this channel and basically trade the tops and the bottoms of this channel, yeah? So if we're going to hit the top soon and you can see, the vital algo indicator has drawn a green line of resistance up here around 68, 69,000, right? Uh, yeah, about 68,5. Uh, that looks like to strong resistance, okay? So it, it doesn't, it's not for sure, but it's likely that we get some sort of rejection up here at the top of the channel and reverse down at least to the middle of the channel, if not the bottom of the channel. So that's what I foresee. And again, the vital algo indicator on the four hour chart is showing that we have good support at the mid fifties and we're expecting high activity at around 54. And that's something that I have been anticipating for some time, a correction down to the 54 K level, at least for the A wave. And then again, uh, a little lower for the C wave uh, in a correction, it, were we to correct. I just don't see how we can possibly continue to go up 
without some sort of retracement to capture more liquidity. Uh, okay, so now let's go on to the lower time frames. About 15 minute time frame and see a bit of what's going on. So right here, we have, let me turn the indicator off. Okay. We have Bitcoin correcting, okay? So we hit that high of about 67, I believe. Yep. On this chart, on the Bitstamp chart, 67,120. We've retraced with our A wave, okay? That was quite a long A wave. And that A wave found support here at that fourth wave in this, uh, if we're counting sub waves, this is a fourth wave, right? We found support, fifth wave, the A wave retraces down to the fourth wave and we effectuate uh, an ABC to reverse course, okay? And that is normal. And right now we're in the B wave and the B wave is going again, A, uh, sorry, the B wave is going to go A, B, C, okay? So it's going to come back down uh, about here, right, at this bed of support, and then give you a C. And what Bitcoin has been doing lately has been, it's been giving B wave to the one, two, three, six, okay? Uh, and what does that mean? That means that it's uh, printing out an ABC flat correction, right? Because anything between the one, two, three, six and the one, six, one, eight, is uh, an irregular or a, um, a an extended or expanded flat, but we've been printing regular flats. So I expect Bitcoin in this B wave to come up to the six sixty seven a uh, high sixty seven thousand, which may be a new all time high. Yeah, uh, that would essentially uh, overtake the uh, previous high of the wave five, okay? And then there, after that wave B, I expect another retracement for wave C to this level, right? And breaking this level. This is what I expect. Uh, we may not get it, but this is what I expect. And I see that, let's say, if we do hit this, sorry, one second. Let me put that back up. So 67.841, if we do hit that target of 67.841, we may retrace still using the A wave because that would be a regular flat down to the two or the two, two, three, six. Okay. So I expect that, you know, this retracement go to at least 60,000, 44, uh, 61,000, about 61,000. So let's just put a line here and then we'll zoom out and see what's going on. Okay. So that's what we anticipate. Let's zoom back out on the four hourly time frame to see where that would fall in the channel. And that's essentially taking us back to the bottom of the channel. Okay. Now, will we break the channel? I don't know, but I would personally, and I am going to be trading, I'm currently trading uh, this B wave up until the a new all-time high, which would be 67.8, right? And then back down to the bottom of this channel at around 61.067 on the Bitstamp chart. So we could just put that in really quickly. This is what I anticipate, but you know, in trading, you want to take it step by step. Uh, so I have a plan, but at the same time, I'm going to take what the market gives me. So if the market decides to do something else, I'm going to, you know, look and assess and see if I can't, uh, I can't make a profit doing that. So if we do come here, that would essentially break the integrity of the channel. This retracement down here, this correction may be enough to, if we get here and we don't hold it, then our next bet of support is down here, right? 
at the 144 EMA. Uh, and we would break that and we would essentially be creating a reversal for a larger retracement down for for a larger retracement, pretty much uh, retracing this impulse. And that's basically what, you know, I've been anticipating for some time. So if that indeed, so if we do get this right and we don't bounce off, if this doesn't happen, we will get, and I'm going to change the color, we will get something like this, something like uh, this. Back up to here and then down here, okay? That ABC correction. And that's something I've been calling for for some time. Obviously, we haven't gotten it yet. Um, we've been just going up, up, and up. But I do anticipate that this happened at some point, and that would be the retest of this breakout, essentially. So if, again, if we don't, from 61K, if we we, we do play out, and this ABC correction is already playing out, this is A, we're going to get B, C is going to come, it's going to take us to the bottom of the channel, right? If we don't find support on this bed of support at 61K, we're coming down to 55, 54, going back up, right, in the B wave to retest 65 or 64, the all-time high, getting rejected and coming back down to 52. And this is where I'm actually uh, planning to buy my altcoin bags, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for Bitcoin. Again, nothing's 100% sure. Those are just the two scenarios that I anticipate playing out. And if we switch on the vital algo indicator, again, if you are interested in also getting this vital algo indicator, you can get a week, uh, week long trial for free. Uh, and if you're interested in buying it, just use code ESDEAN at checkout, E-Z-D-E-A-N for 25% off. Okay. So the vital algo indicator does concur with my analysis in that there is high activity expected here. There's uh, a supply box or uh, there's a lot of buying pressure over here, right? For our A wave of our correction. And then the B wave basically would be back to retest that, uh, that fall. Uh, and then the C wave would come back here again into this, this buy zone. So that's, that's what I anticipate for Bitcoin. Uh, that's pretty much it for me today. I hope you guys are well. I hope you're trading safely. If you're trading, uh, do be cautious with altcoins. I know some altcoins are running, but again, with the price action that we've gotten from Bitcoin, do anticipate a correction uh, sooner than later. I don't think that it's sustainable. Like we have happy here. This is one of my, um, my altcoin picks, something that I anticipate buying. I'm not going to pull the trigger on this and FOMO into it just because it's gone up 44 uh, percent. Uh, this is a project I believe in, but I'm still going to try and find a good entry on it. So um, yeah, just going to sit on my hands and wait. If Bitcoin does correct, I anticipate that this also correct uh, somewhat uh, to give me a better entry on it. Uh, if you don't know about Happy, it's basically uh, an Oracle, but with security. Uh, it's, it's an excellent project, and I think it's going to do amazingly well in this bull run. All right, that's it for me. Hope you're well. Take care. Bye.